Qatar is working behind the scenes to de-escalate tensions in Palestine following Israeli attacks. Astronomers in Qatar have predicted the date for Eid al-Fitr. Qatar is set to build two more solar power plants. And finally, all the updates from the 2023 Emir Cup. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. A Qatari official has confirmed that Doha is acting as a mediator to reduce tensions in the occupied Palestinian territories as Israel continues its aggression against Palestinians. Since Wednesday last week, Israeli forces have stormed Al-Aqsa Mosque, firing stun grenades and attacking Palestinians gathering for Ramadan prayers. Israel has also launched aerial bombardments on the besieged Gaza Strip, damaging a number of buildings as well as a children's hospital. Now, astronomers in Qatar have made their predictions for this year's Eid al-Fitr. The experts say the annual post-Ramadan celebration will fall on the 21st of April. However, the official decision remains to be declared by the Moon Sighting Committee, which often takes place in the last couple of days of Ramadan. Now, Qatar Energy has announced that Qatar will have two more solar power plants built in the next two years. With a combined capacity of 880 megawatts, the solar power plants are part of the Gulf state's plan to transition to clean energy. The KSPP plant is one of the largest solar power plants in terms of size and capacity in the region. And finally, the Emir Cup is well underway with the start of the quarterfinals. Al Arabi swiftly eliminated second division club Al Mu'aydar 2 0 to book their place in the final four. Coming up on Sunday evening, Al Gharafa take on Al Shahaniya, with Al Sayliya versus Al Duhail and Um Salal versus Al Set taking place in the coming week. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.